Everyone, when they get their first tattoo, always goes hardcore into thinking like, this represents this, and it's gonna represent the time with my father, and not just the time with my father, like the rose that was on the ground we, when we picked it up and we blew it into the fucking wind. I have, I have a tattoo from a Tinder date. Oh, cool. Nice. Do you want to elaborate? Or... <laughs> uh... You mentioned your mom would have been really mad if, uh, about your tattoos. Yeah. Is she okay with it now? I no, guess? no, no. My mom is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Hit me like a one hour. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. So if you've been to Montreal, you've probably heard of Tam Tams. Tam Tams is a huge weekly gathering on the side of Mount Royal. Uh, it's not organized by any group or specific person. It's just a big spontaneous drum circle party every week, rain or shine. And probably it's the biggest concentration of tattooed people in the city at any one given time. So we're going to go check it out and uh, talk to people. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was 18. I was 16 and it was a home job. Okay. My first professional one was 18. The first time I got a tattoo was in a studio in Toronto. My mom had to write a note for it. Okay. Had to break into her email and write an email to them. <laughs> Which might have been bad, but it worked out and she was fine with it. Okay. My first tattoo is here, that's when I was 15 years. Okay. Because I very, you know, cachet. Yeah, my, right. my, my, my mom yeah. killed me. First one was this chicken poke that a friend gave me, but it's just like three little dots behind my ear. Very, very low key chicken poke. And then uh, the first actual one I got was this one. And I was actually on a trip back home uh, to Bolivia. I got an onk when I was 18. And it was actually a family friend who did it for me in her um, apartment. Um, have any of you gotten a tattoo from like someone working outside of a traditional tattoo shop, like a home studio or some mm -hmm. kind of art chair kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Mm, probably most of them, yeah. Oh, nice, okay. I'm more follow tattoo artists and like their work and want to get their work, and so some of them just tattoo out of okay. their home studios. And I think the two, the two that I think of the most were from a friend who lives in Berlin, and uh, she tattooed it out of her own apartment. Nice. when I was there, yeah. Okay. I didn't get my first tattoo until I was in my 30s. I've always wanted to get tattoos. When I was 18, I got my, uh, I got my ears pierced. And most of the tattoo shops were in the East End of Montreal at the time that I was aware of. And they weren't the kind of places that, you know, as an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old kid, I felt comfortable going in because everybody there already had, was, you know, full tattoo sleeves and stuff like that. Uh, and they all looked like, like bikers and mean guys. Have any of you gotten a tattoo like from a friend? Yes, yeah. definitely. Was, why, why did you? Because uh, I was 16 and didn't know better. <laughs> a laser tattoo removal is infinitely more painful than getting a tattoo. So think hard before you get a tattoo. Don't let someone convince you to get something you don't want. <laughs> also, it's way more expensive. That's it. That's all. <laughs> the worst experience I've had getting a tattoo was the first one I got and it was because I just wanted a tattoo so I went and got a tattoo and it was in a tattoo shop and I was 18 and everyone else who was in there getting tattooed were like these like ripped jacked dudes who were getting like huge like pieces on their arms and their muscles were spasming and I was getting this tiny little thing on my like the inside of my arm I was like oh <laughs> well now I pretty much only go to um, like personal shops or people's homes and I really like um, getting tattoos by someone who I vibe with and friends of course it's more personal but none of my friends are like professional tattoo artists so they just 
do the stick and poke at home. Okay. <laughs> and this is from someone who I went to school with. And I, I don't know, I like to go, when I travel, I like to get tattoos from people. And I usually go with queer artists and like, um, like queer friendly shops. So I have like, th this one is from Stockholm. <laughs> And this one's from Berlin. I start to make tattoo like a collection. I have this one. This one have like a ten years. My friend, she she get like a, from a stick and poke. Okay. It's no machine. I make that with my friend. That is for eight sessions. Wow. Yeah. Three hours. Chaka, uh, chaka. Yeah. I'm from Mexico. It's more like a ritual. Hmm. Friends like a un un cado que te doné. Okay. From my friends like. Hmm. A, Invite me to drink one night. I cook for him and then make me tattoo. Okay. Uh, I don't know. For so many nights and years, I, 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 I do it like this. Right, right. Do you have any opinion about people doing tattoos at home with their friends or like people working outside of shops? How do you feel about it in general? I mean, I think it's fine. I think definitely a lot of people don't do it safely, and that's probably not great. Um, it just seems to me like a bad idea to get a tattoo that might like, you know, not heal properly or whatever. But I think it's fun when people do it. Like I said, I have several friends who do it. Have you gotten any like negative reactions to? Uh, I think that yes, of course, I have never a negative reaction with the society. More here is no problem because I think so. That here, society from Montreal and the Canadian is plus a uh, open mind. Mm. But if you go in Mexico, in the places, small towns, and everything. So many times the people been think you coming from the jail of the okay. some gang and you fucking steal something right. or the police or take photos for your tattoos because they confuse maybe think you from the gang. Un style como très particular de de Montrealés es como poco de noir, trozo de noir, así que que bond lines. People are getting maybe a little bit fed up on um, certain tattoo parlors and certain tattoo artists that they feel like overcharge them or they don't get exactly what they want because the artist kind of takes a bit more, um, takes more charge of the tattoo and is like, oh, this place wouldn't be, would be better, this size would be better, but it's not really the same when you're getting a tattoo at someone's home kind of thing. In the last couple of years, it seems as if there's been this big trend for a lot more uh, home tattooing, or you know, stick and poke. And there's a couple of people. There's a couple of people that I know who do it. I've looked into it, uh, but haven't gotten to the point where it's like, yes, I'm going to do it. But it's 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 in the back of my mind of doing it. But I feel like there's also a very large stigma with it because if you don't really know the person you might feel uncomfortable because you're like oh is this really sanitary is this so i feel like sometimes it gets kind of a bad rep have you gotten tattoos outside of a shop like no never sure. probably just for like cleanliness reasons like at least i know that they're certified that it's like going to be hygienic and everything like, yeah like uh, would you ever consider doing that yeah, I think I would. I think it would sort of have to be um, like some kind of like fun night or just something stupid. And even if it turns out really like crappy and gross looking, I could still sort of like associate that with like, oh, we were doing this that night or like, you know, this is sort of just a spur of the moment kind of like spontaneous thing. So, okay. yeah. Uh, I worked in a tattoo shop in 2008 for like uh, eight months. And there was such a like strong uh, aversion towards self-taught tattoo artists, like that they were like just like untrained scum, you know. And it's really nice to see sort of this like independent, like self-taught tattoo artist becoming popular right now. When you tell people that you've gotten tattoos from friends, or like they ask you about a tattoo, and you're like, "Yeah, my buddy did it. 
you ever get like, uh, have you ever had people react strangely to your touches? Um, the only time I think I ever got a reaction that was put aback was from professional tattoo artists. There's some professional tattoo artists that really respect the whole underground tattoo stick and poke scene. There's some that kind of look down on it, that see it as people who just won't get their license, you know. So I, I, I've said it to uh, more professional tattoo artists before that I got it from a friend at their house. And then they started saying, well, you, you shouldn't support that. You should support, you know, professional tattoo artists that go through the certification training. Yeah. But I, I like both, honestly. Like, sometimes I'll look up specific artists that I enjoy on Instagram, and they usually have their own shop. So that's the way I'll approach it there. But if I have a friend who really means something to me, um, doing a tattoo at their house could uh, immortalize the me uh, my memories with that person as well. I think Montreal is the perfect city for the underground tattoo thing. I mean, that's why we're doing this documentary, right? It's not this you know, fancy, pristine city. It's this rustic, like, city where it's, it's not a, so much about seeming like you have this high-status tattoo shop. It's more about, you know, the adventure of going, like, going down a weird alleyway into someone's home and, you know, getting a tattoo with just the piece of a tattoo gun. In our first episode, when we were talking to Gnarly Pokes, we asked her why she thinks there is this like acceptance of, of people doing home tattoos and, and tattoos in like home studios and stuff. And she was saying that there's like a real client base, that there's enough people out there willing to get tattoos in these non, you know, um, official environments that it supports the artists that want to go that route. Obviously, there's not going to be one single reason why people decide to go to a tattoo shop versus a tattoo studio in someone's house versus like getting tattoos from their friends. But, you know, at the very least, if we can open up that conversation and we're like um, just getting a sense of what the thought process is when people are thinking about getting a tattoo, why they might go with a friend, why they might go to a tattoo shop. And um, yeah, you know, just trying to explore Montreal tattoo culture, right? Just um, see where those those trends are coming from, where it's going.